Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 16 July. Let's start with Bajaj Auto first. The pattern repeats. June results are usually not as good as the March results. See last time 1705 became 1644. This time also there is a reduction in non net profit. New channels will report the numbers year on year. So you will see an increase only, which is fine. Annually there is an increase. Or there is one problem I would like to highlight. 2021 to 2022 June, 1170 became 1163 which is okay, you can attribute it to pandemic perhaps. This 1163 became 1644, which is a good 33% kind of jump. 1644 has become 1942. This is a much lesser growth compared to the previous jump. Also June to September, there is a big jump here, 1644 to 2022. So this jump will come here also perhaps. The reason is that the production for festive season happens right now now after that september to december the growth moderates it moderates in december to march also so next quarter is going to be the best quarter in terms of numbers and that seems to be priced in already the street clearly did not like the results the results came somewhere around here initially year on year there was a euphoria the stock went up nearly 200 rupees then people realized the fine print and it came crashing down to the same levels for the day, still there was a gain of half a percent. The volumes were pretty high. Next quarter's good part is already factored in. There is inventory available with most of the manufacturers. So they won't go in an overdrive for manufacturing a big stockpile for next quarter. This is what I was talking about from the result sheet. Quarter on quarter, 2090 became 1978. Reduction in the Q and Q profit numbers. It was bank nifty expiry, nifty had an ordinary day. But if you note, I had to move my image towards the left today. The simple reason that nifty closed towards the bottom part of the day. Usually it closes on a high somewhere around here and my picture fits somewhere around here. The patterns are not bad, but the spikes are still pretty big. Which means the movements in a 5 minute candle are getting more and more aggressive. Bank nifty also, I had to move here. The bars are big here also, but the expiry was reasonably smooth. Nothing big today. At least I didn't notice it. One chart I want to specifically talk about is Indus Indian Bank. This is last six months chart. There are two strong support zones. One is around 1400 and another is around 1450. Look how many times Indus Indian has attempted breaching 1450. It did breach it, but then found a support at 1400 here also. So these two are very strong support zones. If these levels are decisively breached, then the charts are suggesting very good movement towards 1500 and 1550. Indescent on certain days when it is volatile does move a lot. Just a disclaimer, I do not have any existing relationship with Indescent, but it is my previous employer. Bajaj Auto results, I won't say they are bad, but I would say on the fence or we can say on expected grounds, nothing substantial. Tomorrow markets are off, but Asian paints will declare the results. Now two confusing news. IMF has raised India's growth forecast by 20 basis points to 7%. But India's specialty industry, gems and jewelry exports have dipped 13.44% in June. This is bad news. This is our forte. Gujarat has significant amount of people who are dependent upon this industry and we are the biggest experts in the world. This has to get the attention of the finance ministry on budget day, whatever is required. We need to export more and definitely we can't let go of something that we are doing very well right now. Now I mentioned Nifty was volatile, VIX was volatile as well, went up, came down. Overall did not go anywhere. Nifty was up 0.11% but it fell a lot towards the end. We'll see it in the charts. Bank Nifty was down 0.11%. Nifty IT was up today. That is because Infosys was up 1% while TCS did not go anywhere. FI is bought yet again 14,674 crore for the month. DI is sold. This is a good move. DIs are lightening a bit. FIs are taking positions, however, in the options market. Yesterday, that part got edited when I said story abhi baki hai. Don't get misled by them that FIs are buying. They are managing their positions well in the options market. Nifty Energy today fell 0.25%. Next 50 also corrected and corrected a lot 0.6%. Defense also was down a bit only. Today, I've added a column for the NASDAQ charts. This is very interesting. I didn't even realize Apple has crossed 3.5 trillion. 
there is apparently there is apparently expectation that apple ai will create a huge sale of apple iphones this year microsoft is at number 2 3.3 trillion nvidia back to third position 3.1 trillion one interesting part of gold which i noticed today while the price is hovering around 73600 the sgbs are getting really really costly most sgbs are somewhere in the range of 76000 to 78000 or rather 7600 to 7800 per unit so don't believe these rates if you go and buy gold it is already inching towards 80000 i have mentioned previously that my targets for gold are 90000 for the year ahead of the us elections so after diwali before november gold will cross 90k my personal targets are 95k silver corrected a bit bitcoin after rising for last two days is down a bit 1.5% rupee hasn't gone anywhere crude has fallen locally reliance wise i think the streets did not like geo results and it is a big company 2.25 lakh crore which is a part of reliance's market cap atl shot up today also 1.9% ql 2.5% this is a big move so basically this section held the market together reliance relentless fall today nifty fell a bit towards the end this is what i was talking about tcs had a fall minor fall in atl hul corrected towards the end infosys corrected icici bank corrected reliance in any case was going down only sbi itc and hdfc bank they were kind of strong towards the end bank nifty there was a complete meltdown in kotak today 50 points down from the opening point pnb charts are looking more and more terrible bank of baroda volatile icici choppy but still up sbi went down but then corrected it is still hovering at 882 that is where it started the day 900 still seems to be a realistic goal hdfc and icici apparently are both gunning to meet somewhere around 1500 maybe axis bank totally undecided though it had a terrific last two weeks indusind fell a lot in the day then it recovered everything but suddenly it fell towards the end of the day only noticeable movement on the green side was icici bank up 1% the bottom players were down and down a lot cgio 3.14% this went up in the last 2 minutes yesterday just before the results kotak mahindra irfc both fell in a heap power finance also corrected a bit but power finance is still a strong stock look at the volumes of jio defense is not looking pretty at all most shares fell grc corrected and then recovered a bit see here otherwise most stocks are going down heavy profit booking and lack of demand hl 3% down today with 110% volumes not good signs see these stocks are now away from all time highs 52 week highs still not much demand coming metals the day was perhaps saved by hindustan zinc otherwise tata steel down jindal steel down hindalco down vedanta down nmdc down sail down jsw down the sector did not go anywhere it sector zomato was down 5% today it has been going up like anything yesterday it was at 230 the reason is flipkart is planning to enter the quick commerce game 100 dark stores is the news then that that will be opened by flipkart this is the nature of quick commerce any new player with deep pockets especially of the size of walmart will impact your business this will probably correct a bit more because people are sitting on huge profits energy sector reversed from yesterday both segments were up 1% yesterday today the power pack was down 0.3% the oil pack was down 0.7% the fall was led by reliance as well as oil india which has been only going up chennai petro shot up 12% in fact it was up around 17 18% earlier in the day then it gave back some of the gains the volumes were fantastic not just for chennai petro but for the entire sector yesterday's lagards the adani pack picked up today adani green adani power as well as adani energy volumes were looking good here as well so ahead of the budget there is a lot of interest in energy sector though there is a lot of volatility in prices also i think the budget will encourage export of crude oil as a result there will be something done which will impact at least reliance and mrpl both of them export significant part of crude MRPL is an expert on ATF so maybe for this reason MRPL actually may be looking 
टू गो अप नेक्स्ट मे बी दिस वीक और नेक्स्ट वीक मार्केट बेट वाइज ट्वेंटी सेक्टर वर अप नॉट टेरिबल बट येस्टरडे वॉज अ बेटर डे टूडे वॉज लेड बाय इंश्योरेंस पर्सन एंड हाउस होल्ड प्रोडक्ट टेलीकॉम एंड कोल ऑयल एंड गैस एरोस्पेस मशीनरी इक्विपमेंट फार्मा बिवरेजेस दे वर ड्रैगिंग द इंडाइसिस डाउन एशियन पेंट रिजल्ट टूमोरो इट इज रियली वीक राइट नाउ आई पर्सनली फील दैट द रिजल्ट विल बी गुड लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल गेट देयर होम्स पेंटेड बिफोर द मॉनसून or after the monsoons also construction industry has done really well in the last 3 to 6 months that should have resulted in good volumes for asian paints construction and engineering is looking weak ahead of the budget cement pack mix pack yesterday alter tech was up 2% today it was down 1.5% adani enterprise up today also dmart up 1% more it was up 1% yesterday also food and tobacco is looking good itc is up if budgets will have soft for road and rail then freight and logistics will go up for sure and there are lot of players in this sector which are at very low prices right now home building and construction sector was up half percent today nearly all players up insurance is on a tier lic up another 4.5% every player was up sector was up 2.5% definitely there is something cooking from budget perspective here at least the expectation investment banking is not looking good it is correcting more than it is going up two days down one day up siemens down abb havels bhl everything down the consumption pack was on fire hul 2.6% godrej 1% dabar 1.35% colgate 1% this sector will go up like anything if india grows pharma was looking terrible today real estate operations pretty good gains 2% 3% for most stocks sector was up 1.3% telecom all three major players were up bharti vodafone indus tower railway also is looking terrible right now nifty 50 does not look as strong as yesterday 20 stocks down 30 up atel hul coal india infosys icici contributed most reliance kotak mahindra ultra tech ntpc shriram finance they were pulling down the nifty next 50 lic marico dabar dlf were up most zomato hal shriram finance siemens varun beverages were dragging down next 50 today i sold chennai petro it was up 12 13% already from yesterday In fact, I found a bit of Chennai Petro hidden in one of the portfolios. I sold that also. So good, decent gains. I bought back MRPL today. I just explained the theory. Now what happened was, as soon as I sold Chennai Petro, Chennai Petro went up and up a lot. As soon as I bought MRPL, MRPL fell a lot. That is the life of an investor. I bought LIC. I was finding it very expensive. I don't like the company, but I thought that at least ride the wave. Try and make a little money out of it. There was a last tranche of Mazdoc lying somewhere. I sold that also. Today I bought Dalmia Bharat. The only simple story is it's a decent stock, and either Ultra Tech or Adani Group will buy it. All cement companies will be bought by one of these over next months, maybe in a year. Just testing the theory here. Let's see what happens. I bought Redico Khetan today. I've been waiting a long time, waiting for it to correct a bit. The brands under Redico Khetan, this is an alcohol brand, are international best best sellers right now. I haven't bought a lot here. Let's see. Probably increase the quantity as I get some profits out from somewhere else. Good day on the calendar, both on options as well as cash. Options are actually very small. I did not trade much. Two very small close trades only. today this one is open from yesterday 25th july positions so these will become loss making right now if i hold them till expiry i'll take a call on thursday what i'll do with them indescent i have added a lot but it has not gone anywhere based upon the bank nifty expiry days i have seen in the last two weeks i decided to stay out volatility is increasing people are getting jittery there is nothing new in what i am saying the spikes are going to increase it is like if something falls behind you suddenly get alarmed and you panic so every event will be like a glass shattering people will overreact to everything on the upside as well as downside if you have good size profit somewhere do consider booking a part of it in my opinion i personally feel that we will all get many many chances to buy same stock at same or lower levels later in the year so if you are a long term investor there is no point in taking the risk of a large fall here yes lot of people have been calling for a fall for a long time internationally and india it hasn't come there was only a one day fall on 4th only a one week fall during the ukraine war these are pretty much the two falls we have seen in large quantums since the pandemic there are lot of factors because of which market is not falling one of them is currency printing yes we don't get to see the numbers but india is printing currency domestic people have a lot of cash via dis a lot of money is getting into the system there are not too many large companies getting listed and most of the larger companies are not expanding to raise money they are preferring debt 
as a result the stock market universe or the size is not expanding much so same money is circulating from one player to another to the third hope i was able to convey to you what is really happening thanks for watching i will see you on thursday